Lucas Novi is a man that lives in the Czech Republic, and he needed to take a picture for his government ID card. And there was a little controversy that flared up because he claimed that due to his religious beliefs, he must wear his headgear in his photo. Now, the Czech Republic has religious liberty laws, but there was some kind of a legal case that arose from this, and Czech officials ruled that he can, in fact, wear his headgear in the picture. Okay, so why is this a big deal? Well, Lucas Novi is part of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, which is a satirical church that, of course, mocks all other organized religions, which is why I love it. But what he wore on his head during his picture was a pasta strainer. <laughs> Oh, I love this guy so much. <laughs> but to actually give you the details, the court ruled, according to a government spokesperson, Novi's request, quote, complies with the laws of the Czech Republic where headgear for religious or medical reasons is permitted if it does not hide the face. So the question is, do we think the Czech court is right? Look, I got to be honest with you, man. I know it's funny, but I think they're right. Because, look, you have to be consistent. And what are religions at their core? I mean, religions are nothing but silly beliefs held by a lot of people. So, what, a silly belief can be discriminated against if it's not believed by enough people? And if that's the case, where do you draw the line? Does it have to be over a thousand people that believe it before you could wear the goofy headgear? Does it have to be two thousand? A million? I mean, uh, where do you, you're splitting hairs here. And the bottom line is, that reasoning, if they had ruled against him, their reasoning would have been arbitrary and inconsistent. And his point is, hey, what they're doing is ridiculous, and they're above the rules because they believe something. Well, okay, so I'm going to believe something too, and what I believe in is mocking them. So you can't tell me i got to take this off unless you want to tell them they got to take theirs off too. Look, either you respect all religious uh, belief systems under the law, or you can go in the other direction. And uh, what I mean by that is, so I've had a personal experience with this where I worked with somebody who always took certain days off per week, an extra day off, and they said it was because of religious reasons. And because of that, they were legally allowed to do so. But if I had said, you know what, let me level with you, talking to my bosses, I'm agnostic, but I just want the day off because I need to hit the refresh button and I want to lay in my recliner in my underwear. Okay, I would have been fired, and I would have been laughed out of town. But why is that fair? So, uh, isn't that clear and utter discrimination against non-religious people? Because I could have walked up and just lied, and said, yeah, I worship this fucking thing in the sky that I don't even know if it exists, but I believe it, so you have to fucking respect it. Now, now I'm going to go home, okay? Well, they legally have to let me go in that scenario, but if I'm honest with them, they, well, then they'd laugh, uh, they'd laugh and they'd fire me. That doesn't make sense. That's discrimination against non-religious people. Or another example is religions that say, no, no, it's cool, don't worry. We're allowed to torture this goat and pull out its entrails because it's our religion. Well, no, actually, I don't give a shit who does it. I don't give a shit what your reasoning is. If it's illegal, it's illegal. You can't hide behind an absurd and false belief system and think that's okay and that justifies something extra. But oftentimes, in the world we live in, that is what happens because people put religion on a pedestal. You know, and you see the same thing when it comes to uh, churches not having to pay taxes, but of course they could use the roads and the fire department if they catch fire, or the police department if something happens, among everything else. It's a ridiculous double standard, and the reason why I love this guy is because he's pointing out the absurdity of religion.